is a very big process. I think we're live. It's saying we're live. <laughs> we're live, but I, I don't see live on my... Okay, everybody, welcome to... Do you see it live? This is the first time we've done that. Okay, so welcome, everybody. I'm just going to get to the right page to see if I can see the live. Let's see. Um, okay, so today we have Louis Xavier as our first guest. And you saw it go live, so it is live. And Louis... Hi, Louis. How are you? Very good. Thanks for having me. Hey, I don't, I don't see you coming up, but I assume people can see you. I hope so. Okay. So um, if people can't see us, just please comment and I'll check that out and see what's going on. Okay. So Louis is the king of email marketing, and he's my very first guest here on Smartest Business Strategies, my very first interview. So I'm thrilled to have you. Um, Louis, tell us a little bit about how you got into email marketing. Sure. The first one of many. You're going to have many more people here. So, um, yeah, very happy to be here. So, um, you want to know how I started? Yeah, I want to know how you started and what got you into email yeah. marketing. Yeah, cool. So, originally, I actually started with uh, video animation. So, uh, my first business was video animation. And I had roughly 60 seconds to really communicate my message. And um, after the video animation, I realized that I needed to build a landing page for my customers. After that, I realized that, you know, they needed to be sending emails. And when I got to emails, I realized that I could send, you know, email sequences and all sorts of stuff. And I just fell in love with that. And for me, it was amazing because instead of like 60 seconds, I had, you know, unlimited emails really like to communicate the message and continue to nurture, you know, the audience and all that. So it was uh, pretty much the start of something big. That's uh, what I do for living right now. Okay. So now you have a quite successful email marketing business. Um, how long have you been doing this? So I've been doing that for probably... I'd say three years, but like, uh, you know, um, with the whole business itself, like five years, mm -hmm. uh, but email marketing specifically and lead management roughly three years now. And it's been, it's been fantastic. So there's always a progression with the, the business. Um, like I mentioned before, there was a progression with the video animation to the email marketing and so on. And then, you know, the progression that has been happening has been with lead management. So, there's so much happening around the world and, you know, it, it's just everybody's so busy with email marketing that you can't just do email marketing. So you got to do a lot more than that. And that's why, you know, we are using, um, you know, my team and I, we're using lead management. So we can have multiple touch points when we're talking to the lead and we can make sure that they move to the next step and, you know, just move on and do what we kind of want them to do. So it's like, all right, we've got a course for you. All right, okay. So have you booked for the course? No. All right. So mm -hmm. hold on. We're going to send you like some kind of messages. Like, and you know, if they um, purchase, they're going to have like some other messages like for sales and things like that. So it's quite interesting. Okay. So I'm interested in this. What do you feel is the biggest issue i won't say problem okay i'll say problem we're not allowed to say problem but what's the biggest challenge that you find that that people have with their email marketing when they come to you what's the mess you know what's the, the yeah mess? It, it's it's quite interesting so i think um i think the biggest one is they don't know what to say what to do uh they don't know um i guess some of them they don't know the possibilities they don't know that um we can segment, you know, uh, you know, like the audience and uh, like, I'm just talking like, you know, alien words right now, like segmentation, what are you talking about? So essentially it's just, um, you know, a very simple way they can get the entire audience, the entire group. And you can say, all right, those people, they already purchased, you know, my product and those people didn't. So then, you know, we can kind of like really be personal, like get personal with like the message that you send to those people. So, I think in a way they don't know what's possible. They don't know how to do it in a, in a, in a way that is attractive, 
you know, in a way that uh, the person receiving it, they go, okay, I, I appreciate what you're doing. You know, but a lot of people, they just send a lot of uh, emails with a lot of value, good content, but um, they forget about the goals. They forget about, you know, the call to action. So, I mean, it, it is, it is hard, you know, to do it, but like, for one, one reason or the other, like I, I love what I do and I'm good at it. And, you know, for me, it, it's easy, you know, uh, like for you, it's very easy, like to get people, you know, be successful and get a lot of money. I love it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just wondering if people are seeing this live, because this is, guys, this is the first time I've shared. Okay. So please, yeah, I see some comments. Please comment if you're watching this, that you're seeing it okay, uh, because on my end, it's not really running. Okay, so that's that's interesting. So so basically, what you're saying is that um, people they're just sort of emailing, right? It's just like like the message that you know people just email, kind of like not talking to one person with one message and then another person with another message. So when you're talking about segmentation, you're talking about breaking down parts of your email list. So you say, hey, this person reacted in this certain way, so I'm going to send them that, and this person clicked but they haven't bought yet so i'll send them that part of my funnel and that person bought from me so i might send them the upsell is that what you're saying absolutely so there's so much uh you know to email marketing and to like when you talk about lead management it, it, there's even more you know but with the email marketing um people think that email marketing um is essentially like send emails from their Gmail account. And this is not email marketing, you know, this is like very basic, like there's so much more that you can do. Um, but uh, there, there are a lot of parts, you know, to the email marketing. The very first part is the acquisition of, you know, the lead. So how are you gonna get, actually get, um, you know, the email of the, the, the person that wants to buy from you. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of ways to do that. And usually I tell my clients, I'm like, it's very easy. It doesn't need to be complicated, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You just like put some, you know, content like uh, that you would like to give away, like a lead magnet, for example, and just put that on a opt-in form. People will, you know, exchange the email. Thank you. They, they, they will change the email for mm -hmm. the information that you're giving away. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, you have webinars, you can um, have giveaways, you can have like some sort of competitions. So there's so many ways that you can really grab and collect emails. Like when someone enters a group, you can mm -hmm. you know, ask for the email. And mm -hmm. the thing is like people are very used to it, you know, and people follow, uh, in a certain way, uh, orders, orders, like, you know, as in you go to a restaurant and you say, hey, um, I want a table like for two. And they'll be like, all right, just wait here while I'll just find a table for you. And you will like, you know, so it, it's very normal for you to ask people for things. And then once you get it like, and you start sending emails to them, you can say, hey, um, you know, go to this place and check this out. And, you know, just like have call, call to action and things like that. So they 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 have like a whole progression you know mm -hmm. so they start with the seven dollar offer and then once they buy you're like all right cool so now i've got this 99 dollar offer you know this is an amazing course mm -hmm. um and it's a progression of what i just gave you before and then right. you can have an upsell for 101 and so on so there's so much you know that can be done and a lot of people are caught just doing facebook ads mm -hmm. and they're great don't get me wrong you can do retargeting things like that but the problem is you're not really uh, in touch with those leads after they, they receive the ads, mm. you know, they either buy or they don't and that's it. But once you get the email, this is yours to keep. And mm -hmm. if you're doing a good job, you can, con you can continue to talk to them and have a conversation and sell things to them. And if they uh, like and know you and trust you, they're going to continue to buy uh, whatever the products you have. Right. So what you're talking about is owning your own racetrack. A hundred percent. And a lot of people, they do organic traffic and it's like, it, it's, it's not hard to actually collect emails. And if you're doing organic, that's cool. And, and I get it because when you're doing organic traffic, you've got messenger, you've got so many other ways that you can, you know, sort of like talk to the leads. But if you grab the emails, you can actually 
categorize them. You can use tags to know who they are and what they're doing and how you collect the email and so on. So part of what I do for my clients, I really go deep in, in terms of like how the leads were collected. So let's say um, they have blogs and they're collecting leads through the blogs, through lead magnets and so on. I actually go as deep as ca categorizing each one of the blogs and tagging each one of those. So then depending how many leads are coming from a particular blog, they can actually pump more traffic like through paid ads and so on. Mm. Okay, so you go very deep into that. So, and, and actually in a minute, everybody, uh, Luis is going to train on lead gen. We're gonna share the screen, but we'll do that in a minute. That's a big treat. Okay, so I'd love to hear about, um, you know, I always like to hear about people's success journey and, 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 and um, your principles as a business. And what is that? I mean, what, what cause you're, you're like, a, we met actually everybody on, on, in, a, in a group, you became buddies quite uh, quickly. Cause I feel like we have a synergy about how to do business. So tell me a little bit about your philosophy of how you do business. Yeah, so I, for a very long time, I worked in IT and I worked in big teams and um, it was very interesting, but what I really missed was the ability to have the human interaction with someone that appreciates what you do and bring them results and so on. And uh, my philosophy is that I really try to provide as much as I can for my clients, but it's, it's um, by no means, it's just like um, a customer, you know, it, it's always a two way street as in, you know, they, they're happy with what they're getting and I'm happy because I can get what they need and so on. So like we, we most of my clients, they're actually my, my friends nowadays, you know, and it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's really good. Um, we're just building our businesses together, you know, some of my clients, we have meetings and, um, and we talk about, you know, the strategy and all that, but it, it goes like way further than that. You know, we're talking about businesses and exchanging knowledge and all that. And it's beautiful. And that's something that I really like, like and enjoy. I really love that. Yeah. Actually, I was just thinking about that, that just this morning, I was thinking when I first started coaching people, we, we were taught don't become friends with your clients, but I've become very good friends with my clients and I think <laughs> great because um, if your relationship as a, a, a business provider in some ways goes beyond that and you become friends, it's even better and it's deeper. So no, I've always noticed that you have a very nice way of doing business with us. And that's what drew me to you actually, because you don't seem spammy. You don't, I mean, you're a marketer, but you don't seem spammy. You don't seem fake. You're not fake. You're really authentic. So certainly I always know when you peel back the layers behind that, there's some kind of life philosophy. And um, so, so what's your principle? I mean, you certainly have principles that is, as a business. I can tell that just by our interactions. Um, what are your principles as a business? Yeah, sure. I really believe that um, people are special. People uh, in this day and age, like people just get spammed left, right, center. They they just seek off like the same thing over and over again. So what I try to bring to the table is something that is different. And this, I guess it's a unique touch. It's, um, you know, this connection, it's um, something that is different. It's, 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 uh, it's the one-on-one, you know, it's like some time ago, people were, um, really like oh okay let's go to the internet and then now everybody's online and we've got like the, the whole craziness that we're going through right now and all of a sudden they're like all right cool um i actually need a bit of connection i need i need to be connected to some of the humans and you know so part of what i do like one of the values that we bring with that is this like it's the ability for the business owners like not to be just another person selling something service or like you know it's more than that, you know, and the people that we work with, like they, they're amazing, like very talented people. We've, we've got like people in HR, we've got people in the real estate and, and like, if, if you get all my clients, uh, what you would see in common with them is that they all have like this big heart. They all have like these, um, 
passion about like try, trying to change the world, you know, trying to really um, use love, I guess, like to communicate that message and, you know, bring people around. So I think that's a little bit of like what we sort of like captivate like in our business and try to um, get people that are sort of like in line with what we do. Um, because other than that, it's like, what's, what's the joy of, you know, like work with someone that we like, uh, we know, you know, what, what are you trying to achieve, you know? And, and it's very interesting because I could see the progression, like in terms of, you know, when I first started and I was, let's say, you know, lost, like you've got like a business and you're like, you don't know what you're doing. And then now I look around, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. You know, like all the, the amazing talented people that I'm working with, you know, um, and it got to a point now that like some, some of those people, uh, we talk and all, but they're very humble and I find out things about them by mistake. I'm like, um, I just finished the implementation of one of the clients and never mentioned anything. And then I went to check like his, uh, pages and all that stuff. He's got 97,000, uh, <laughs> followers on Instagram. I'm like, what? You never told me that? Like how, how I don't know that stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. But it, it's, it's just like, it's like that, that's, you know, their language. That's how they, they do their things, you know, and it's not like bragging. It's not, you know, it, it's just in their DNA. And I love that. It's, you know, so that, I think that's the principle of how we, we kind of do things, I guess. Yeah. And I sense that from you. It's, there's a lot of love. And actually, I was also thinking about that, that business can be done with a lot of love that you just you love the people that you're helping they're there I, I certainly you know it's all over my marketing i only work with visionaries and trailblazers you know that um yeah 100 because you know and i get what you're saying if you're helping other people who are doing good in the world then you're just a catalyst which is humble of you too and i see myself as a catalyst or a vehicle a mere vehicle so that's what we have in common i knew there was some commonality and Thank you for, for, you know, putting that in good words, because I was like, that's right. You do have a lot of love. You're just a lovely guy. Um, <laughs> also something, everybody doesn't know this, but Lewis lives in Australia. You live in Brisbane, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, I actually just moved to the coast now, Sunshine Coast. So it's about an hour and a half from Which there. Yeah. Amazing. I've been there. It's like this big, res- it's gorgeous. How did you end up? Because you're Brazilian, right? Yeah. So I originally came to Australia to learn how to speak English. And yeah, so I got, I got uh, a visa to be in Australia for six months, could not speak English whatsoever, came here. Um, and I was actually very upset when I left Brazil because uh, I was working in, in this place. Um, I was doing IT, like information technology. And I, you know, I liked like my job, like it was all right. It wasn't the best job, but it was good. And I remember that uh, I went to talk to the HR lady and she was like, all right, cool. So uh, you, you told me that you need to talk to me. I'm like, yeah. So I'm actually going to Australia and I wanted to know um, if you're okay with that. And maybe if you guys, you know, give me a pay rise, I might actually change my mind. And she was like, uh, no, Louis, no. Um, if you come back in six months, you've got your job, but I'm not giving you a pay rise. Mm. And I remember very clear that. And, and then I, I, you know, after some time here in Australia, I, I managed to contact her and talk to her and all that. And I was very grateful. I'm like, thank you, like, for not, um, you know, giving me a pay rise because otherwise I wouldn't actually be here in the first place. So that was the best thing that ever happened. But, uh, but she told me, she's like, you know, if I, if I actually gave you a pay rise, it would mean that you would not go because of something that is just money and you know you would just miss on a big opportunity and i'm very grateful that you know she like she did it you know like i was very humble i guess from her to be like no like they could do it like they needed me there but she was like no that's fine just go do your thing six months if you change your mind and you come back uh, i'll be here but you know and uh yeah that was it so six months went past um and then um, I started like doing uh, like more uh, courses around, you know, marketing and all sorts of things. Um, but uh, the idea was just like, how, how I'm going to get the visa to stay here. And it took me five years to get the, per- the permanent uh, visa to stay in Australia. Nowadays, I'm a citizen, uh, which is good, but I've been here for 15 years now. 
Wow, fantastic. Okay, so um, now tell me, how, how much um, revenue have you generated? Have you worked out how much revenue you've generated for your clients since you started this business? Oh, man. Um, I don't have like numbers like to tell you, but what I can tell you is that uh, you actually saw one of my posts recently. Uh, and, and I was like, oh, how do I feel about this? Because <laughs> I automate a lot of things for my clients. And one of my clients, they had this process that uh, it was very manual and they were taking around 35 minutes to onboard each one of their clients. Mm -hmm. And because of that, yeah, they had like about 15 VAs and I managed to get um, the automation so well refined that you know it was actually five minutes after you know i i came up with the solution and all so yeah so i i think some people might need to like yeah like anybody looking for vas because <laughs> yeah i think i got some fired i don't know what did you do they had I, I'm, I'm confused they had 35 vas did you say and yeah no, they, no 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 they have uh, 15 vas yes and it was taking 35 minutes every person that came to the business, yeah. Because the way that they had, like, um, it was very complicated. Um, so that's the client that I told you that I've got the NDA. So I can't really disclose a lot of stuff, but um, it was very, very complicated. They needed to have like one automation per person. And the way that it was set up for the reason of the business, um, they, yeah. Like they, they had like a pretty long uh, setup. So it took me roughly um, two full days to come up with like a proper solution that I could implement and test and all that stuff. And, and then I managed to do it. And yeah, now it takes like five minutes. So they- What do they yeah. sell? So it's a service. A service, okay. Right. Yeah. This is service. Got it. You can't say much more. Okay. I can't, yeah, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is but, good. but in, in another token, right? Um, sometimes it, it's very interesting because business is like that, right? So sometimes it's actually the other way around. So I was working for, I am still working with a real estate. And because we managed to get the automations like really well tuned and you know like they could have more leads coming through and uh, the system could handle more and they needed to do less but sometimes uh, businesses work in different ways so for this particular client uh, I'm going to be training and I'm going to show you a little bit of that as well but um, for them they started getting more calls because um, they, they had more clients um, and they needed more people to talk to those clients. Mm -hmm. So in their case, they actually need to hire more people uh, to handle the calls. Mm. Wow. Okay, you know what I'd love for you to share with people? This is something I hear all the time. I've got to build my email list. I've been hearing that for years. So yeah. maybe you could give a few tips for people, solid tips, on how to build their email, because you said you do lead gen, because that's just something I hear, I've got to build my email list. And it's just, you know, this pain, do you hear that all the time? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's something that is unique for like every business, I guess, you know? Yeah. So, well, you, you, you're the queen of lead generation. Like you're, like you're everywhere I, I, I go on Facebook. So that's amazing. So I guess um, the very first thing um, is, you know, know your audience, like, no, I, I know it's like so cliche and people are like, oh, why do people keep saying that? Because it's true. Like, if you don't know who you're trying to market to, like, it's, you know, you, you just like mumbling words and nobody's going to identify with it. So the more you know about your audience, the more you're going to be able to really, uh, you know, communicate with them. And it's very interesting because, uh, I remember when I first started, I was posting a lot and, and I could see that people would, you know, talk to me, but I didn't know what I was doing. And I was just like changing my message, like here and there. And, you know, it got to a point that I'm like, oh, okay. All right. So I can really refine, you know, who my audience is and who I want to talk to. And I can really talk to them. And it's very interesting because 
when you know exactly what you're doing, like the people that you're trying to um, talk to, they will see that. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I don't know how to explain that in a better way, but, you know. Signaling if, for peeps. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. So what I'm talking about more is about the email list building, not like, do you know what I mean? I don't specifically help people build their list. They could with what I do, but I'm not like the email list building gal. Of course, so yes. Talk about how do you get those people on your list so then you can do your very fancy compartmentalization, all the, that. The, the, yeah, the magic and all that. So like I mentioned. Do you want to share the screen and show them? Or Yeah, you... absolutely. So uh, what, what I'm going to share uh, today is actually about lead management. But answering your question, um, what I was going to get to is you need to really have like proper um, communication with the people that you're trying to target. So the more um, selective you are with who you're talking to and how you're going to transmit your message, like the more you're going to be able to um, achieve like, you know, what you want, right? Like as in terms of like getting them to take action. So uh, what I'm trying to say is uh, it doesn't matter if you're doing organic or ads, if you are uh, really targeting the people that you should, you know, when you get them to take action, uh, it's going to be a lot easier. So in terms of collecting emails, uh, how would that look like? You provide value, provide value, and then at some stage, you're going to be offering some kind of uh, lead magnet, a PDF or something like that. And then you're going to be like, all right, cool. I know who you are. Um, you know, the content that you provide is really good. So, all right, let's do it, you know. So, they're going to be a lot more inclined to, you know, provide their details. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, you can start from there. But uh, on top of that, like I mentioned before, you know, uh, blogs, great way to do it. So, um, you can have like a blog and then at the, the, the end of the blog, you can say, I've got, you know, this PDF about this thing. And then you just give it away. Uh, you can have quizzes. You can have competitions, like, you know, just think like whatever you're doing, how can you ask for the email? You know, and it doesn't need to be hard. You know, mm. you can have chatbots, like there's so many ways to collect emails nowadays, you know. So most of the stuff that we do is automated. So a lot of clients, um, they either have organic uh, and then, you know, they're going to have like some kind of opt-in that will be already uh, automated to the system that we use, which is active campaign. Uh, some of the clients, they have ads and then we have integration with like spreadsheets that, you know, go to the system and so on. Uh, and yeah, so I'll, I'll show you, I'll um, share my screen and I'll show you some stuff uh, that I think you're going to like. So this is a literally a million dollar startup that I'm helping with, uh, I'm, I'm um, uh, work with. So um, I created the, um, the strategy for them, but the reason why I'm showing you that guys that is because this is going to be a very easy way for you to understand a little bit of, um, you know, how you should be doing things in terms of, you know, lead management. Cause a lot of people, they, um, they do, they run ads or they collect leads through, you know, um, opt-ins and so on but with time they just realize that they have lists everywhere so let's say using click funnels you might just have people uh, you know doing the opt-in and then they may always just sitting in the back of uh, click funnels and you never go and check right mm -hmm. so what you want to do is find one central location where you're going to receive all the emails mm -hmm. and you want that to be automated mm -hmm. so uh, you might have Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Instagram, all that stuff. You want to make sure that everything goes to one location. In my case, I use um, Active Campaign. I love it. I'm a partner, but you could you could use like Mailchimp. Like you know, I want you to use something. You know, just like just make sure you use something other than a spreadsheet because it needs to be reliable. It needs to be something that um, you can track. Um, and most importantly, you can automate. Right. So they um, sign in, you've got one place where you keep everything. 
the lead go to the thank you page. Uh, usually um, they can download from the thank you page or they can download from uh, email. Uh, either way, uh, we send them to a welcome sequence. And this welcome sequence is very, very important. Why? Um, because uh, imagine that someone goes and download your uh, you know, uh, lead magnet or whatever the information that you have. Uh, up until now, they might not know who you are. They might not even like you or trust you. So when we go through the email sequence, we really um, get them to find out a little bit more about you. So who you are, why they should be um, you know, listening to you. So share testimonials and you know, really share like a bit of this story. Like why did you build your business? How did you, um, you know, manage to get like um, everything you have now done, you know? And um, like, why is that gonna work for me? Why is that gonna work for the people and so on? So there's a lot of stuff that we cover inside of the email sequence and you should really do that as well. And we, we go even to the point of one of the emails is just essentially about objection handling, which means that, you know, when uh, you finally ask them to, to buy your, um, you know, like take, uh, go to a webinar or whatever it is, they, they're going to like you, they're going to know who you are and they're going to trust you. And it's going to be a lot easier for you, you know, to sell uh, them something or get them to take action. Um, in here, we, we, we like to educate our leads. So this is a little bit of um, a mix of um, like videos and blogs and, you know, some other things. Uh, the custom audience, we usually, uh, this is essentially ads. So if someone, they don't like take action, let's say they didn't actually open the very first email or the second or the third or whatever the email it is, we can actually send them to Facebook and say, hey, um, like you can show an ad with a video or something and say, hey, uh, you didn't actually open like one of the, the emails that I sent you and it's very, very important. So make sure that you go back and open because I've got something very special for you. You know, so it sort of like complements the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of the last emails, you should really send them to a sales page. And the idea is that by the time they get here, they already know who you are, they know everything about you. So they're like, all right, cool. This person will be able to help me out. I already saw testimonials. Uh, they already handled like all my objections in terms of, you know, is it too expensive? Like how I'm gonna get results and all that stuff. So if they buy, hopefully they will, um, you know, you go and deliver. However, if they do not buy, you've got a few different strategies. Um, so this is a very simple one. Um, but what are you going to do? You're going to keep sending them newsletters. So you're going to keep talking to them. You're going to keep um, sending them a little bit more information, a little bit more, um, you know, news about what's been happening in your world. And, you know, so, so provide value. At, at this stage, you're not trying to sell anything to them, mm -hmm. right? You're just uh, really providing value. And... Um, and, and to be quite honest, this uh, is another thing that can be automated. Like it can really create a long sequence of emails mm -hmm. and um, it, it can be very strategic as well. And usually that's what we do with our clients, uh, which means that, you know, we're going to have newsletter for like three months, you know, depending how it is. Like, because if we know that it's going to take that long for a particular client to convert, Guess what? Like we already have the numbers, we already have everything we need, so uh, we can develop um, the strategy on top of you know all the the the, the things that we're doing. So mm -hmm. we've got the newsletter, and you know in this particular custom customer's case, uh, after one month we send another offer, and this offer can be um, ten percent off, fifteen percent off. It could be anything really you want. Um, what I usually recommend my clients and, you know, some of them, they actually have products and they sell courses and so on. They can actually provide some kind of, uh, intrinsic value. They can provide, um, all the PDFs or, you know, a, a bonus, like within the course or something that won't actually cost them money, you know, because every time you discount, you sort of like, 
oh, I could be actually making that money and I'm giving that away, you know? So yeah, so you can do that. So let's say they got to here, they sold happy days, that's awesome. If they got to here and the, the customer still haven't actually bought anything, we've mm -hmm. got the follow-up trip. And mm -hmm. the follow-up trip is a bit awesome because what happens here is up until this point, uh, we hit them pretty much with emails and here with ads on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they get here, they're gonna be hit with a lot of different um, automations. Mm -hmm. And this is all automated, right? So we send them voice, ringless voice message, right? So they're gonna get like a voice message saying, hey, um, this is the owner uh, of business XYZ and uh, we're very happy to have you here. I can see that you already uh, received an offer. So let me know if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Nothing happens, that's fine. You know, a few days later, we can send them an SMS, you know, uh, we already have the number and all that, you know, through the opt-in that we collected. So we can use uh, ads again. We can send more email. Uh, if you have a chat bot, you can connect to the chat bot and get the chat bot to send them messages. So there's a lot of things that happen inside of the follow-up trip. If that's, they don't... That's, so you actually also don't just use email. You're using uh, phone marketing as well. Yeah. Everything, yeah. So that, that's the lead management because nowadays you can't just use emails because what happened is like emails, they're great. They work really well. However, um, you can't just rely on the emails. You know, it's just not safe, you know. Um, so you need to use a lot of other things to mix it up and get multiple touch points, uh, you know, to the, to the lead. So, uh, and it's beautiful because... For, for the business owner, it looks like they just like hitting the leads from every single side, you know, and they're like, wow, okay, those guys are just like sending me messages, like they're doing everything, you know, and the idea is like up until here, everything is automated, right? So it's all automated, like there's no, um, you know, humans, like there's anything. So, you know, there's the ads, all that, they go opt-in, they receive the emails, they go through Facebook, you know, they go to the sales page, they buy or not, uh, you know, they receive the newsletter because it could be actually a strategic uh, sequence of emails instead of newsletter. Mm -hmm. uh, then they receive the offer. We, we configured everything in the back end. It's all automated. So when they, when they get to the follow-up drip, usually they buy because there's quite a lot of, you know, hey, you came all the way here. We've got this amazing offer, you know, so we really like, hammering down all the, the, the benefits. We're showing testimonials. Uh, there's a client now that we're going to uh, trial MMS, which is um, the SMS with video, you know? So th there's so much that can be done, you know? And then if, if for whatever reason they're not ready mm -hmm. and they don't take action, what we do, we, we send an email to the, the sales team, you know? Um, and then what happened is like the sales team will be like, all right, cool. So, I can see the entire information of mm -hmm. like where they came from because they're going to have tags and all that stuff. So they can see the entire history. And because they know the entire history, um, they, they, they have a very good idea of like how the conversation will go. Mm -hmm. um, and usually I tell the sales team that they have two um, very important um, tasks in here. So the very first one is, of course, to make the sale, right? And um, the, the second task is to find out from the lead why, why they didn't buy, like why they're not ready yet, you know, because it could be because, you know, the, the, the targeting in the ad wasn't done to the right people. So then this guy is actually not interested. It mm -hmm. could be that, um, you know, the, the email sequence has a bottleneck and, you know, it didn't communicate some of the doubts that the lead had. You know, it could be that the sales page is not converting well. So there's like so many different reasons because we've got a lot of moving parts here. But if we find out, you know, from the lead what's happening, what's wrong and how, you know, we could improve, guess what? We can go back and mm -hmm. fine tune all that stuff. So then, you know, it's going to be ready for the next, uh, you know, like leads. And the idea is that we, 
we continue to fine tune that to the point where the conversion is so high that, you know, the sales team will have like not much to do really, you know, that that's the dream, right? And you're just having sales. Wow. wow. Does it make sense? It does. That's very involved. I'm very impressed how you, you have these different parts of the funnel and you can go back and say, okay, which part wasn't working? Fix that, fix that. So it's really failing forward in a way. Right, because one hundred percent, one hundred percent, and we've got like we actually create a CRM for our clients, so mm -hmm. the the clients can actually see live. So, for example, um, the opt in comes in; it's going to be a pipeline. Mm -hmm. If uh, you know they they go through the sales email sequence, it's going to be another stage in the pipeline, so they can actually see how many people are inside of each one of those automations. Mm -hmm. um, we've got site tracking as well. So if they go to the sales page, once again, we can actually track them and we can see what's happening there and so on. So, you know, um, let's say get to this point and they haven't actually done anything. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to turn them back to uh, the newsletter and we're going to show them another offer. And to be honest, like, it depends on the business. Like different businesses are, are different. So we really need to um, cater for what kind of uh, sales they do, like what's the amount of, you know, um, sales they expect and so on. But the idea is that um, none of the leads will go uh, missing or, you know, sleep cracks. They all going to get some kind of you know, message that would be personalized, would be very direct to them. And, and with time, we, we actually get to expand that. So, you know, if you have like boys and girls that you work with uh, and you know that most of, um, you know, your clients are girls, but, you know, you're like, well, the boys, they're definitely interested. I just need to have a better way to communicate with them. We segment it. We create a new um, automation that will be uh, sending emails that are very personalized and you can talk directly to them and you can increase sales in this way as well. Uh, there are a lot of things that I didn't actually show here, uh, but, you know, if you have your business and you have uh, email sequences and all that stuff, what it can do, it can ask for testimonials. So you've got a course as well, like after four weeks, um, the person hopefully started, hopefully they got a little bit of a taste and you can say, um, please provide me a testimonial. Like, you know, I always want to uh, improve, give me some feedback, you know, and um, you can even ask for video testimonies and so on. And then you can use that into uh, your funnels to get even more sales and, you know, more people to get social proof and so on. So there's quite a lot of things that you can do. Uh, you can do referrals as well. So referrals is huge. Uh, if you have a list of emails, you can use Facebook lookalike audience. Uh, you can use custom audience. Like there's so much that can be done with email marketing and lead management that people are not aware of. So you're such a pro. I had one question. So where it says the e welcome email sequence and you said, send them to Facebook. What do you mean? Once they're in your email sequence, what do you mean you send them to Facebook? You mean you rerun ads? Is that what you mean there? Or so, yeah. So what happened is uh, we can track um, everything that happens inside of the system. So let's say you've got someone that um, you've got a lead that um, didn't open your email. Mm -hmm. we, we, we automatically send, like we get the lead, you know, details like the, the email and so on. And we send that to a custom audience. So a, an ad that we created just for that. And yeah. then, yeah, so they will stay there for a very short period of time. So it doesn't cost a lot of money. Uh, there's no targeting because you're actually providing the information to mm -hmm. Facebook as well. Right. And it's, it's very interesting because they're like, oh, okay, I haven't seen anything like that. It's very personalized. They're talking to me. I better go check the email, you know? So that increases like, you know, the chances of people uh, going back to the business and re-engaging as well. And another thing that I didn't mention is that for the people that are not engaging uh, you don't actually want to keep them in the system. Like there's no reason, you know, if they unsubscribe or if they're not engaging with you. And one of the, the, the most important things uh, is track engagement. And that's why I, may, I, 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 you know, like had the idea to, to show uh, the engagement through active campaign and all that stuff. But if they're not engaging, um, you shouldn't keep them, you know, like you should really unsubscribe them. Uh, of course, like make a backup and, you know, you still have that elsewhere, but, why would you pay 
you know, to have someone in your system like New Active Campaign or database, whatever you have, if they're not engaging with you, there's no point. Right. This is amazing. Thank you for sharing that. So okay. uh, you said you wanted to show Active Campaign. Did you want to show something there or not? So with Active Campaign, like I can I can show, yeah, of course. Like it would be my pleasure. So what I'll do real quick. Uh, I I've got a partner account, so I'm just gonna open like um, oh, a sandbox. Yeah, so it's just a sandbox. So um, in here, what I'm gonna show you is how to um, check the engagement. And that's something that I teach inside of my course as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna move this away. So we're gonna create an automation. And we, the, the idea is that like, and it's, it's actually pretty easy because it's done for you, right? So you go part one, continue. And then uh, we activate this one, right? This one's done by the way. So it's got all the, the stuff that you need to, to have in there. So then we go back to automations. This is a video so people can go back and forth and you know watch that in slow motion and all that. Mm -hmm. um, and then they're gonna go to part two and they're gonna continue. Uh, I won't actually be able to finish the part two uh, installation here because you need to set up uh, a few things, but if you go get started, it will actually ask you. So oh, I actually do have it here, okay. So this is the same box. So I never know what it's gonna be uh, in there in terms of setup. So this is here because you need to set up um, a few other things. So I need I needed to um, essentially, you know, put my domain there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to track uh, the engagement because the engagement uh, is tracked by a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. So this one, all it's saying it's like part one. So you're just gonna go part one engagement tagging, apply next, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it. And then you just need to activate. In my course, I teach um, how to add a custom field and then you can actually see the last time someone engaged with you. But as you can see here, there's a lot of different ways uh, the active campaign tracks the engagement. So if someone reads the email, if someone link, uh, clicks on a, someone click on a link inside of an email and if someone visit like one of my pages, uh, and you can have a lot more triggers here as well. So if you have like all the different domains, you can add more triggers here as well. Uh, but that's the idea. So uh, if you go you know, to contact, you'll be able to see the engagement um, track in there. And like that, that's the easiest way that you can use to check you know, if people are engaging with you or not. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, Lewis, um, why don't you, uh, we can un unshare the screen now. Why don't you, I know you just started a new course. Why don't you just tell people a little bit about that um, before we sign off? Uh, is that a new thing that you're doing, the course, as well as your service? Yeah, so this is actually my first course. Um, and um, I was always reluctant, like, to do courses, mainly because um, I'm good, like, you know, uh, helping clients and doing strategy and all that stuff. And for me, it was very, uh, I guess, challenging to create something that would suit everyone. Mm -hmm. And there is something that I do for all my clients and it's called uh, essentially the initial setup where I prepare active campaign to work uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a more advanced way where you can actually track things uh, when we when we first start using a new account, there are always uh, issues like potential issues with deliver deliverability. So emails either not getting delivered or going to be spam folder and so on. So I created a course where people can uh, follow step by step. Um, there's actually a PDF as well, and they can go um, you know to Active Campaign, have either video or PDF, whatever you know they prefer, and they can follow that and they can implement that themselves as well. So, yeah. Awesome. So, well, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much. How can people find you? Can they find yeah, you? On, where would you like absolutely. So, they can, they can visit my website. So, salesstudios.com.au. 
Uh, and uh, they can find me through my profile. Uh, I believe you tagged me here as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, if you need any help with anything, if there's anything that I can help you guys with, uh, feel free to come and have a chat. I'm a human. I, I promise I won't do any like automations like on you. Um, and I'll help you guys out uh, to the best of my ability. Great. Okay. So I'll just repeat that. So it's salesstudios.com dot au is that correct yes correct com dot au or lewis is in my group he's been in there for a while actually so you can just reach out to him well lewis this has been a pleasure thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge that was really intense and very advanced email marketing uh, i love it um and I'm, i know that you really uh helped your clients sell more right i mean that's the goal isn't it Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me here. Always a pleasure to see, talk to you. Uh, you know, I love your life. So I'm always learning as well. So thank you so much. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. So this has been the, the we're going to wrap up the very first interview here at Smartest Business Strategies for Seven Figure Growth. Thanks so much, Luis. You have a nice evening. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, thanks so much. I hope that worked because I I didn't see it. It sort of was not going when I looked on my web on my thing. So I said it's like live on Facebook. Hang on.